Welcome back to my channel. I'm Joe with Smoking Joe's Pit Barbecue. On today's video, I'm going to show you how to reverse sear a steak on a Yoder YS640 pellet smoker. Stay tuned. Alright, so we're starting with two Australian Wagyu ribeye steaks. Now this one right here is an inch thick and this one is two inches thick. So this is a monster steak right here. Now this one right here still has a bone attached to it. So I'm simply gonna remove that bone just so that I can tie them up. Okay, so I'm just gonna flip it so I can see the bone right here and cut right up against that bone. Make sure you use a good sharp knife, like my Dell Strong knife right here. There we go, okay, really simple. So I am gonna remove some of this fat right here and clean up some of this fat right here. Okay, that looks good right there. This one right here, I'm just gonna clean up some of this fat. Now these steaks are from Grand Western Steaks. I gotta tell you, you guys have never shopped them check them out. I will leave a link inside the description box. All right, so I've got some butcher's twine right here that I'm going to be using to tie up these steaks right here. I'm going to show you how I do this right here. This is the two inch thick cut steak. Just kind of make it into a ball, this little tail, tuck it in right there. Okay, and go all the way around and just tie a simple knot. Make sure it's centered and cinch it down just like that. I'm gonna tie another knot right here. Okay, that looks good. Just cut the excess. So that's perfectly round. This is gonna cook nice and even now. So I'm just gonna move this one aside. I'm gonna truss this one up as well. I'll bring you guys right back. All right, so I've got both steaks trussed up. Now on this one inch steak, I am gonna be using the Arbutzer Smoking R Steak Rub. This rub is fantastic on steak. So I'm just gonna add a light layer. It's got a good amount of pepper and salt and other spices as well. Don't forget your edges. And the bottom side as well. All right, so on this two inch steak, I am gonna be using the Suckle Busters Campfire Steak Seasoning. This is more of a salt, pepper, garlic, and a really good flavor. We've had this on burgers and it is fantastic. Just like that. Good amount of pepper, a little heavier pepper. I'm gonna drop some rub on my cutting board and grab the edges. All right, so the steaks are gonna sit on my counter for about 30 minutes. I've got my smoker running at 250 degrees. We'll see you guys outside. Stay tuned. All right, I've got my Yoder Y640 running at 250 degrees. I'm gonna place these steaks on the top shelf, starting with a two inch thick steak. It's gonna go right in the middle. And here's our second steak. Now I do have my damper all the way in and I am using B&B Championship Blend Pellets. And as you can see, I do have my meter probes in there. The number one probe is the two inch thick cut steak. And that steak is at 55 degrees internal. And the number two is this one right here, it's 57 degrees. So I'm gonna smoke these till these hit about 115 degrees internal. Then I'm gonna put my grill grates on. We're gonna put a nice sear on these, stay tuned. All right, so the total cook time so far has been 45 minutes. The two inch steak is reading 115 degrees. And that one inch steak is reading 122 degrees. And that's okay because my wife and daughter like their steaks a little bit more well done than I do. So at this point, I'm gonna grab both steaks and pull them off. Got my Dell Strong giant tongs right here. All right, that's what we look like right there. Just gonna set these aside for a minute. All right, so I'm gonna slide this grate out and remove it completely. All right, so be very careful. I'm gonna remove this hatch right here from my two-piece diffuser. I do have a glove on. So just grab a hold of it, lift it up. All right, so I've got my grill grates right here. Just gonna install these. 
just like that. I'm gonna crank my temperature up to 500 degrees. Now it's only gonna take a few minutes for that smoker to get up to 500 degrees. I'm just gonna shut the door. I'll bring you guys back in about two minutes. Stay tuned. All right, so that took about five minutes. Now I was hitting the prime button to feed more pellets quickly. So it is running at 500 degrees. I've got some canola oil. I'm gonna spray my grill grates down. Be very careful. Okay, now I did remove my meter probes. And here is my two inch cut steak. Just gonna put it on there and press down. Grab my one inch steak and do the same thing. Just put it on there and press down for a minute. I'm gonna give that one minute with the door completely open, okay? All right, so it's been one minute. So I'm just gonna move the stake towards the front of the smoker, okay? Just gonna lift it and flip it right here and push down. Same thing with this one. Lift it and move it over to a hot side of the grill grates. Got some really nice sear marks so far. So I'm gonna let this cook for one minute on this side. After that minute, I'm gonna come back and flip it back on this hot side. Stay tuned. All right, so it's been another minute. I'm gonna spray some oil on this side where I had the steaks earlier. Now, to get some really nice cross hatches, pick up your steak, just like this, and lay it down opposite, just like that, okay? Same with this one. Lift it up, lay it back down and push down. All right, gonna give that one minute. All right, so it's been another minute. Spray some oil on this backside. Lift up your steak. Again, set it down and push down. Same with this one. Okay, one more minute. I'm gonna pull these off. We'll see you guys inside. Stay tuned. All right, so our steak has been resting for about 10 minutes. I cannot wait to use my brand new carving set from Dell Strong. Let's see how sharp this is. Oh man, it's like butter. Look at that. Oh man, this is perfect right here. This is slicing like butter. Let's give it a taste. All right, let's see how we did on our steak. Just gonna cut me a little piece right here. Perfect medium rare, look at this. Nice and pink on the inside, nice and juicy as well. Cannot wait, smells delicious. Here we go. Mm. That is super tender. This campfire steak rub from Suckle Busters, it's the real deal. Highly recommend you give it a shot. So I'm just gonna cut myself a little piece of this other steak. Now this one is a little bit more well done. It's got a nice pink center still. This is the R Butts, R Smokin', the R Steak. Gonna grab you a nice little piece. There we go. Mmm. All right, so that steak right there, that was our one inch steak with the R Steak seasoning from R Butts, R Smokin'. Is really nice and tender and packed with so much flavor. I'm not gonna pick a favorite because they are both fantastic seasonings. Both steaks are really good. It's gonna be hard to pick a favorite. Remember to stop by Grand Western Steaks. I'm gonna leave a link inside my description box so you can check it out along with the seasoning so you can grab yourself some. I hope you guys like this how to reverse sear a steak video. If this is your first time here, hit that subscribe button. And if you have any questions, ask them down below. Until next time, Joe with Smoking Joe's Pit Barbecue. See ya.